All right, here's a game for the Sega Genesis. It's called Arcagus Escape. I believe that's how you pronounce it. That's what I'm gonna go with because that's what I can pronounce. <clears throat> Anyhow, it's um, pretty damn impressive, really. I mean, take a look at this. This is um, this is running on the uh, stock Sega Genesis. Appar apparently, if you have a Sega CD connected, you can. Uh, It'll accelerate a little bit, or it, it, it does something. I believe that they make use of the additional pro, uh, processors and such in the Sega CD to boost the capabilities of the game. I'm not really too sure on that. I've been browsing their Twitter, like, you know, just <laughs> browsing as in reading everything I can up on this. Yeah, it's a, from the looks of it, it's like a 3D mining title. Uh, Kind of, if, you, if you ever played like Soul Star on the Sega CD, uh, it's kind of like that, except it's, uh, I believe it's made with voxels, is what they're using here, which is an interesting uh, use of uh, that technology. It's, uh, it's something that say on the Sega CD, uh, excuse me, on the Sega Genesis wasn't used very often. But um, as you can see here, I'm playing through the, the uh, I'm playing the preview copy that they have available on their website. Uh, there'll be a link in the description and all that good stuff. And, uh, I mean, it's it's impressive for what we have here, but I mean, yeah, I mean, by today's standards, yeah, this is like pretty bad looking. But I mean, come on. You know, if you're, if you're watching videos on a, on, a, on a channel called Retro Gaming, I mean, come on, you know. But, you know, of course this is not gonna be PS5 or something quality. You know, you know I know nobody's thinking that, but. I'm sure there's somebody who's going to complain. Oh, the graphics suck. But, um, anyhow, uh, you, you, you pilot a mech through the level, and uh, you can drill through walls and stuff. You can jump. And uh, I believe your, the idea is to collect... Uh, you'll be eventually collecting minerals or ore of some sort. And uh, according to the website, the game is set in the year of 2613. Ar you know, Arcagus Mars. It says uh, it used to, the Archegus used to be under control of the United Space Colonies, the USC, and then uh, a dictator to, appointed a, a dictator, and rebels brought the dictator that dictator's reign down. But, and uh, I'll let you go ahead and you know go to the website to finish reading up on this. Uh, suffice to say, I mean, what's here is for is pretty freaking impressive from what we're talking about. I mean, we're talking about an independent homebrew developer here. I believe they're using the uh, Sega, Gen Sega Genesis development kit, the SGDK, which is an uno unofficial software to make games for the Sega Genesis, which I understand it's just running on a, a stock 68,000 series CPU by Motorola, which is by now has been mapped out pretty well as far as how to make it work. But still, this is these are fans working on this game. I mean, they're not they're not backed by some million dollar company or whatever. And uh, they've, they've been able to achieve this level of results. There's cutscenes, uh, there's a story, there's, you know, I mean, there's just, there's a lot going on in this game and it's, so far, I mean, it's pretty darn interesting. I mean, you gotta, if, you, if you're interested in the genre or you're interested in Sega Genesis and new games for your Sega Genesis, check this out. Check out our Arcagus Escapes. Yeah, let me know what you think. You know. Also, make sure to go tell the uh, developer what you think. This is, you know, we don't get games like this very often. Most of the time, it's a scrolling shooter, which I mean, I love the genre, but come on, let's do some other stuff. Anyway, check it out. It's Arcade Arcadius Escapes. Yeah, I'll post a link in the description.